Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. And I want to thank you. I know that we're um, about 87 subscribers on the channel now and that is phenomenal. I'm just I'm blown away and uh, some of the kind comments have been uh, truly, truly a blessing. So thank you. Uh, today we are going to dismiss this light DM default uh, look and feel for your login and we're going to opt to go and use slick greeter. So let's do that. All right. Notice that I have to type in my user so much work um, and password. So we're going to go and do that and we're going to log in and we're going to open up our terminal. Okay. Um, let's do a sudo apt update. As you know, I don't, I don't edit, <laughs> so we are. Uh, everything is going to be just as it is. And oh, control L to clear this screen. Okay. Um, let me take, make sure is this big enough? Appearance. Let's go a little bit bigger and select and okay. All right, so what I need to do right away is install the slick greeter, apt install slick hyphen greeter. It is in the Debian repository, so you don't have to go hunt for it. You just have to type the right command, and there you go. All right, clear the screen. And you need to, um, because you've installed something, sometimes you think, well, it will work right away. It's not going to work right away because what LightDM sees is its default configuration. So what we have to do is modify that configuration file. So to do that, we're going to do it in command line and we're going to go to the Etsy um, LightDM directory and let's do an ls. And there is this lightdm.conf file. So we are going to sudo micro, which is the text editor. So this could be nano, this could be vim, whatever you choose. Um, and you're going to use, uh, sorry, my, I'm using micro lightdm.conf. And there you go. So what we're looking at is the entire configuration. All of the commented stuff you want to leave, okay? The only thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this seat uh, area of the configuration and we're going to modify two things. Um, right here on line 108 is this uh, example GTK GNOME. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, uncomment that I'm simply going to add another line okay and we're going to write where this is so basically you know I'm going to use this so maybe copy and paste so it's greeter hyphen session equals and then slick hyphen greeter so now we're going to tell it hey this is what you should be using now okay and let's go down one line to this hide users. And I did it, I did, I put it in this section strategically <laughs> so that we could just have two uncommented lines together. Okay, greeter hyphen session equals slick greeter and greeter hyphen hide hyphen users equals false. So now it's gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna see um, on this machine, I have my name, Drew, as a user. And in another video, I use the um, the tools, the the GNOME tools to add another user. So it's going to show that's going to show up as well. I think it was called sibling. So let's do that. We're going to Control S, which is how to save in Micro, and Control Q to quit. Okay. So let's see what happens if I just restart. Um, light DM now. So to do that, I'm going to say sudo um, system ctl restart light DM. And look at that. 
So not only did it um, create, you know, it create this slick greeter login where I have both sibling and Drew as a login. So basically what I use sibling, um, I created it, but then did not modify it. So why does it have this background? Because it's an unmodified background. And with mine, as you know, I'm using this uh, Japanese sunset as my background image. And so it's picking that up automatically, which is fantastic. So I really don't need to, if, if that's all you want, then you can stop right now. But let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Let's say you did not want the same background image. I kind of like having the same background image, but you know, for, for this video, I wanna show you the whole thing. So what we have to do is, I'm going to use a different image. Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to open up. I put all my background images in this uh, .config backgrounds directory. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use this thub io one. So what I need to do is I'm going to go to. Um, let's, we're going to choose this wallpaper, but I'm going to put it in a specific location. I'll just show you. How about that? cd into the dot config backgrounds which is this directory right here okay and i'm going to copy this oh i need a sudo sudo copy this t notice it's a jpeg okay and i'm going to put it in my user share backgrounds and i'm going to rename it at the same time as slickback dot jpeg okay that way i don't have to like you know it's easier to type than that whole thing because i'm gonna have to edit something else so it's called slickback dot jpeg and when i put that there it's ready to be used by the uh kind con of configuration so let's start over and we're gonna go to the um cd into the light dm directory and let's um, create a new file so sudo micro and slick greeter dot conf oops uh ignore because that's okay good I'll make sure this is going to work so what i need to do is put in this square bracket and you have to capitalize here. So greeter is how to capitalize, okay? I'm gonna go to the second line, and really the only thing I need, oh no, I need two things. I need um, draw uh, backgrounds, so no, draw user background equals actually it's backgrounds equals false okay now that what it did there what you know why I put the false in is because if I put true in, it's gonna pick up uh, my my default wallpaper for um, for my XFCE so I need to tell it it's not the same wallpaper so I put in draw user backgrounds false okay and then background equals and then it's user share backgrounds and then slick back which is the one we just copied dot jpeg and then control s control q and there you go and i'm gonna go ahead and close that and so what do i do i say sudo um system ctl restart and then um, light dm and there it is that's what the new background so in order for and, and i just want to make sure that it does this so i'm going to go ahead and log back in because i'm curious and this is i mean if you're if you're done with the video now then that's that's fine but i want to see one more thing if i put change it to true what will happen so I'm gonna to go to CD, Etsy, Light DM, and then 
I'm gonna sudo micro and then um, slick oops, slickreader.conf and let's I'm curious at what happens if you do put true here because I think what's gonna happen is it might show the back the slick background uh, this slickback.jpg for about a, a half a second, and then it's going to go find the um, the background, this this Japanese sunset background. So I'm curious if that's if that's the way it's going to work. And Control S, Control Q, and we have to let's restart again. But look at that it did it faded at, I don't know if you guys saw that but it faded so that it um, it went to the default interesting all right so you learned something there all right um, let's go ahead and uh, finish this video here by just changing it back so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the light DM and we're gonna pseudo micro into it and we're gonna change this back to false or if, like I said, if you don't, if you want the same background for both, you don't even need this file, apparently. So cool. Control S, Control Q, and let's restart the light DM. And there you go again. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching, and uh, appreciate you. Bye.